Live on KPRC-TV and the KPRC2 Plus live stream. The news starts now. Welcome back, everyone. Well, April is Autism Awareness Month, and it's so important to recognize how we can all be inclusive to one another. And today we've got some very special guests. Of course, we've got Henry here again from the Children's Museum of Houston. We also have Shelly Swedlaw with Faithful Paws. There's a special collaboration to tell us about. We've got the beautiful Teddy here as well. Thank you so much for being here today. Can you guys fill us in? We've got, got a whole room full of beautiful special guests Absolutely. Here. We're what the Children's Museum is super proud to partner with Faithful Paws. We've been doing this for nearly a decade, <laughs> and uh, Faithful Paws is a huge highlight of our sensory friendly and explorability days. Um, they happen throughout the school year at both our locations at the Children's Museum Houston and also our Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center. And uh, they really, really are what uh, families really, really come to see. Like that's the highlight of our event. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, just beautiful, beautiful to have them here. And can you explain to us how the dog dogs help children with autism? Sure. Um, children with autism often have difficulty with communication, mm -hmm. with social interaction, and sometimes with uh, language and uh, also behavior. It, we find that when um, dogs enter the picture, they're non-judgmental. Um, you don't have to worry about giving a dog eye contact mm -hmm. because they're just there. And they're excellent for adults as well as kids when it comes to calming them down. So with the right dog, just stroking the dog or petting the dog's fur can relax and put kids in a more comfortable um, environment for learning. Absolutely, and I can imagine, but can you tell us what the response has been like so far? The response at the sensory um, free events at mm -hmm. the museum has just been great because they do um, a wonderful job of lowering all the lights uh, the public is not present on that day, mm -hmm. so there's a reduced number of uh, people. Um, there's not a lot of loud noise. Mm -hmm. Probably there's no noise, really. There's no noise, yeah. We, we change all the, uh, we basically change the museum so that there's um, things that like flash or like mm -hmm. we reduce sounds. We actually provide head reducing um, headphones as well. So we make, we modify these changes for these special days. Yeah, walk us through that, Henry, what we can expect if, if families... Yeah, want absolutely. To so, um, the, the, the basically, the, the museum is an exclusive day for them, so mm -hmm. it's not open to the general public. You actually have to pre-register. Um, then the museum, the exhibits, uh, they have access to all the exhibits, but the exhibits are modified. You know, there are components that technically normally would flash. We turn those off. Even things like the hand dryers in the, in the bathroom, we either lower the power or we turn them off. So then, yeah, so then that way we can accommodate all families. So important mm -hmm. for inclusivity and just a wonderful time for the families. Absolutely. And look at all these dogs. They're look amazing. And I, and I want to give a shout out to Lynn Morris. Yes. This is, she's been on the month for, uh, uh, a month on her, on, as executive director of her job. And uh, yeah, we're so excited to have her. Yes. Uh, well, it's so, so beautiful. They're so gorgeous, and what a, a special event. Thank you, Henry and Shelley. Thank, thank you so much for coming here today. And, of course, you can find all of this information. You can replay the segment. That's at clicktohouston.com. It will be posted on the video tab on our homepage. We'll be back after the break.